to inspect my first job <laughs> yeah that was the first paid job <laughs> yeah. that you took i mean it's it, 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 it's i come in here i see I, I see that 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 rich velour on the walls i see i see your hippo painting in the background i mean come on it's the hippo painting that really jumps out really if we're being honest <laughs> yeah you get the background for my hippos that's teamwork. That's what I love about you. You always help me. Oh, you're my sister. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Do you know it's not average what we have in common? Hmm. No, it's not. Yeah, I mean, I I feel like I can really rely on you in a way that I can't other people, which is a it's a really nice thing. You're always there, and you're always great. <laughs> Even so, if I cry, that the hippos are talking so much to <laughs> me, <laughs> and they <laughs> and they're telling all sorts of very scary things. Okay, all right. Tell me, tell me the most recent thing a hippo told you. A big storm is coming. Drama at a special day. It's exciting. Could and this special day, could this special day by any chance be an exhibit that I've been told about, not by you, but by one of my friends in the cultural sector? Um, that you are actually having an exhibit of your hippos and I have not been invited yet. Is, it, is that, that's it, isn't it? Yes. Yes, but the hippos tell me that it's going to be a big disaster. Oh, it's not, it's not going to be a big disaster because you're involved and you are great, as I always say. You have got the passion. You yeah, have but got the, the hippos tell me that it's... It's going to be the, the disastrous for you, and I, I just didn't dare to invite you yet. But I want you to come, and I'm going to go crazy if you're not there. I, I am, I am there. I am want to be there. I was surprised not to hear about it from you. I think you are. I think I think that you are imagining that this is going to be bad for you. And that's what you're talking about because, and that is nonsense because it's not going to be bad for you. And you're trying to push it off onto me. I've known you my whole life. I know your tricks. Oh, you really do. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm just really not hearing the hippos properly. Yeah. And I just project it on you because I'm so scared. Okay. 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 That's the word. That's the word. Okay. So. I send you the card. I send you the invitation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so I don't have to hear about it through my uh, clients. <laughs> uh, my, I mean, I, I live a very successful life. Don't get me wrong. And I'm very happy about that. But uh, I would like to hear things directly from you because you're my sister and I love you. And I want to be there at your moment of triumph. Okay. 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 I trust you, you know, and I just want the best for you. Me too for you, sis. You can leave the tarot behind and sail on your hippos into the deep blue yonder. <laughs> Dr. Shume, 
Maker, I was waiting for your call. Yeah, but fast. The good news first. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the bad news? Illusion. What does that mean? Maybe you want to tell me? Mm. I think I have a, a desire and maybe it's not a good idea. I don't think that's an illusion though, is it? Is an illusion just not a good idea? I think, no, I know that I have this person I've been working with for a while and just something's different now. Um, and I'm curious about whether it would be wrong to just you know, see what happens, because why not? Um, or if that would, and I think it would make more excitement, but it, it might not. And is that a bad thing or not? I don't know. I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just uh, different, right? So it doesn't have to be a bad thing. But would it be a bad thing? Because if this person I've been working with thinks it's a bad thing, then they may not want to have anything to do with me anymore. Or they might want a little too much. Oh, is that the illusion? They might want too much. And then, see, they would start putting pressure and things wouldn't be fun anymore and the passion wouldn't be there. And then, and then everything would just be ruined in the first place. Unless it's a fun thing they want and they enjoy it and they'll just, we'll, we'll just keep on going with that. Right? Ooh. So it could be fun. And the illusion is that there's a problem in the first place and we could just keep having a good time and it doesn't have to mean anything or maybe it does mean something and I'm lying to myself right now. How sure are you that this person is actually into you? Well, there were signs, <laughs> a little flirting, some eye contact. You know, you could just feel the heat when someone's into you. You just see them evolve a little bit as a person because of your presence. Yeah. And it also says that what's behind the illusion. What's behind the illusion is uh, going for what I see. Albarino, which I think has the right aesthetic, at least to be presented with a gallery. Um, you can tell just the labeling itself is beautiful and pleasing. Uh, so that's at least a start. What do you think, Grace? 
I like the visuals. And as always, you picked just the perfect one. <laughs> I like your confidence. It's a good sign. You didn't used to be so confident. <laughs> I couldn't even get you to describe something about a label before. I learned from the best, boss. I learned from you. But, okay. Now I'm confidently taking a taste of this wine. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's a hint of sour at the beginning and then it turns into a, a party of sour and sweet in the back. It's, it's surprising. Is that what you're going for, boss? Is it, is it surprising? Sure. You're brilliant. Oh, you're brilliant. No. You're the one who came up with a surprising. You're... That was honestly quite surprising. <laughs> and, and... You're incredibly passionate. I like seeing that. You're really... I, I learned it from you, boss. It's... No, this is you. You've grown a lot, and it's really nice to see the side of you. You let me free, boss. I don't want you to be stuck up and stuffy. <laughs> Nervous, and trying to be something you're not. Just... It's always the bold ones that get the prize. So I'm going to be bold. It's... I like, I like this wine. You like this wine? I like this wine. <laughs> I want you to lead at the opening. Me? Yeah. You want me to spread my wings and Take this flight. Be bold, be present, be lively, and just mm, the passion. The passion. Okay, boss. To passion. To passion. Trust issues again. I didn't think I'd relapse so soon this time. I know, I know. No, I'm, I'm fine. Actually, it's not a crisis. It's not a crisis. I'm here because I heard the alarm signals soon enough and thought, I'm not going to wait till it all comes crashing down and there's, there's nothing more I can do. I can only react. I, I, I sense the signals we've been talking about. No. No, 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 no. It's not a pattern. No, 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 no. I know my patterns. I wrote them down. We've been over it. We framed them. This isn't one of them. This is this is something new. It's I'm evolving. Look, if I couldn't trust people, why am I here? Why am I talking to you?
Hey Magda, um, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, it won't take long. Just uh, I just uh, you know, we're gonna check out the new place at the harbor tonight, and I something came up. I can't do it. I'm I'm sorry. We'll have we'll find a time next week. I maybe after the show, the opening. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry again. I, I just uh I, I hate doing this, but yeah, I'll talk to you soon. You sure you don't want my coat? <laughs> You're always afraid that I'm freezing. <laughs> no, it's fine. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this was nice. Yeah. You picked the best restaurant again. <laughs> That's the thing. I think people look for those fancy places that have chefs with big names and the sort of bill that has four digits in it. Not that I would mind. And I think the real treasures are to be found somewhere in the little alleyways and derelict parts of town that no one would think to open such a restaurant in. You always have the eye for the details. The little details. Like, you realize that I'm not wearing such a thick rainproof jacket and... Someone... Yeah. Someone want you to get sick. I'm not getting sick. Have you seen the doctor again? I'm not going to go to the doctor. It, I'm fine. Okay, we don't have to talk about hey, it. Hey, don't worry. It's really fine. I'm I'm doing fine. The job is good, and this was nice. And you know, I w I want good things for you. I want you to be healthy and happy and to have everything you you're always so caring you'd be surprised but i haven't gotten that too often in my life i guess you're special like that you're so sweet i think the past few years i've just gotten used to getting sick of people, you know? And after a while, it's all the same endless cycle, but it's not like that with you. I, I was gonna ask you to move in with me. Oh, you're getting attached. Why are you saying it like that? You're too caring. Too caring? I don't understand. You're too caring. It's nice to have someone care for you. This makes this so much harder. That makes what harder? There's no easy way to say this. I'm gonna break up with you. I don't understand. Everything was great. We were having a nice dinner together. You said so yourself, and then you just turned like that. It's 
it's my fault, it's not yours. Why are you doing this? I need my freedom. You're almost 40. How long do you want to stay free for? <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I really appreciate that you're so caring, but it also suffocates me. This is not you, dear. <laughs> you think after six months you know me? You're so naive. <laughs> Almost childlike. So cute. <laughs> what? So this was a nice evening. Sure. But now it's over. I love I love you. I I really Let's stay with that memory of the nice evening. No hurt feelings, right? <sighs> I'm gonna get a taxi. Just go. Taxi! doing here Pierre? I, I just uh, I didn't know where to go. I'm sorry I know um, it's late I, I just uh, you're I didn't wake you up or anything. Uh, come in come in before anyone sees you. Come in. I'm, I'm a little wet. Um, I just uh, I'll try not to. <laughs> You're soaking wet. Well, Where have I, you been? I left my umbrella and I think it's broken. Well, take off your coat, sit down. You smell, you smell like alcohol. Yeah, it's what happens when you drink alcohol. <laughs> What's going on? This isn't like you, Pierre. It's two o'clock in the morning. You come here unannounced. You smell like alcohol. You're beside yourself, soaking wet. Is it okay if we just sit down for this? Because I, I just need to rest my legs a little. Sure. That's all right. Of course. Can I get you some water? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'd love to wear. You, I didn't realize you redecorated. Is that, is that one of Sarah's? Why are you here, Pierre? I, um, I told you I didn't know where else to go. I just, uh, I, I didn't want to go home and be alone, okay? It's just... Are you alone? We, I mean, yeah, I'm alone. I'm as alone as they come. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I don't think I have anyone in this world. <laughs> I get, it's really when you think about it, we're all alone, right? It's nobody, you can't really 
feel what I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, you're getting dark again. No, you never it's just visit me. me. You never visit me this late unless you're having problems with someone else. I'm like a booty call without the booty. Wow, okay. I just left me. Um I, 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 I can go. No. No, 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 I don't want you to go. Are you in love with her? Yes. Or are you in love with rejection? <laughs> what? I haven't seen her treat you right one time, Pierre. What exactly are you in love with? Well, she left me tonight, so it doesn't really matter. Well, you're here for something. There must be something that I'm useful for. I mean, there's plenty of use for good conversations. You make a nice glass of water. You're... <laughs> have decent tastes and art and you're uh, I guess the closest thing I have to you're the closest thing I have too it's just that when I mention it you're off on your next adventure Wait, what? I... I feel you're searching for yourself, Pierre. And you're searching in all the wrong places. And then sometimes you remember that I've got pieces of you that are actually true, but you don't because... always want to face them. Because you've been there. Just, you know... You've been there, oh, I guess. But it almost seems like always. And I just, but I don't, I, and I think sometimes I, I, those pieces you're talking about, sometimes I, I lose them or I, I don't know where they are or if they're even there. And then I guess I need you to remind me if that makes sense. I'm not sure if anything makes sense. It makes sense. They're all here, Pierre. Where? I don't think that I have a choice. I open the door. I see it's you. I open the door. Thank you. Like I said, it's not a choice. You're my oldest friend. I'm not ashamed of you. I'm not ashamed of myself when I'm with you. Shouldn't be either. What? I mean, what? Why would you be? I mean, why? Why would shame? Well, look at the lives we're leading, Pierre. We're after collectibles. We're always trying to present things from their best side. We're choosing and being elitist about what's art and what's not. I think that's rooted in shame. What? No, I just, I, I want things to be beautiful. I want to, to find the, I want to find the things that are, because I, I think I, I think I don't see the beauty anymore. And I, I just, I, I'm trying to, but then 
that you are beautiful, Pierre. How can we just... Can we just sit here and I don't... Yes. Come here. You're freezing. Yeah. We can just sit here. Just be. It's enough. Thank you. Hi. No, no. Uh, sit down. Please, please sit down. Thank you. <sighs> you look cold. Just a little bit. <laughs> Would you, would you like me to order you a hot chocolate or is that presumptuous? Actually, that's, that's really nice. Yes. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're very observant. Ah, oh, well, you know, if a, if, if a lady uh, comes into the room and she's shivering, then I feel like I have to take action. Gentlemen, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, sh I should have taken your coat. I didn't take your coat. That was rude. No. I apologize. <laughs> no need to apologize. <laughs> Nowadays, it's every woman has to be her own woman. And so it's kind of a nice surprise that light at night and such a chevalier you are. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. I noticed you said woman and not lady as well. You were very firm on the woman. Mm. Well, what makes a lady? I'm not sure if I feel like I'm a lady. I mean, I'm working. Maybe, you know, this little wine cellar. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. The with it's it's got it's got great lighting. Yeah. Oh, you've been there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I went. I went for a tasting. Yeah. Oh. I hope you liked our wines, uh, or how oh, dare I say, our wines delighted you. I hope so. <laughs> they did. They did. They did. I'm I'm excited to learn that uh, you you work there as well. That's uh, that's very interesting. I just started there some years ago. I'm in an assistant position. <laughs> oh, oh, very nice. thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> that's that's my pleasure. Yeah. <sighs> Sometimes. I was hearing, I, I, no, no, please go on, please go on. Such a gentleman. <laughs> I was just thinking, um, sometimes all you need is such a little bit of kindness. Like you asking me if you can buy me a hot chocolate <laughs> calling me a lady <laughs> sometimes that's it's all someone needs <laughs> oh mm. 
do you like to eat some steak sometime? Some dinner? A lady who eats steak. Yeah. I would like that very much. Oh. Very much. Perhaps you could advise me uh, on the wine pairing as well. And we could do a mutual tasting. <laughs> oh, that would be lovely. Oh, what a great ending for a night. recording how wasn't i recording i pressed record i'm gonna kill you i, I, no, I, I, I didn't <sighs> kill you